So does actually um, carbonated water and flavoring. That's basically it. In fact, you could make your own soda if you simply had those elements. That means you gotta start with good water. So here's the water that goes into the bowl. And that's about, oh, I don't know, a half gallon or so. So I think that'll be more than enough. Now you can pick any flavor you want, but in this particular case, I wanna make root beer. So we have plenty of root beer extract. And um, I need the whole thing. Need a lot of sugar. There it is. One full cup of sugar. But there is one tiny problem. If you're looking at this, this doesn't look like root beer. It smells like root beer, but it doesn't look like root beer. So we're gonna have to do a little color science as well. If I put some green food coloring in here like this, you would think that that doesn't look like any root beer you've ever tasted. But now if we add some red to that as well, those two colors should now turn into a pretty nice brown. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There's only one thing I think missing. Dry ice. Oh, did you hear that? That dry ice is screaming 178 degrees below zero. Remember, it's not ice, it's frozen carbon dioxide. And that goes down into here. Now all that bubbling that you hear happening right now is actually bubbling carbon dioxide into the liquid. And you can see it bubbling away. This is great. Now, you can't do anything with it until all the dry ice is gone. And that dry ice is going to cool down the liquid, plus it's gonna add carbon dioxide to it. It'll carbonate the flavored water that we have and we'll be able to bottle it. So I'm gonna push this off to the side because we gotta get our bottles ready. So we've got our bottle, we've got our funnel, and now you just need to transfer this into the bottle. In order to keep it so that you don't lose that carbon, oh, there it is, that carbon dioxide, you're gonna want to seal it up. And that's the perfect bottle of DIY Sai root beer.